Hola, community. This is Pablo Vázquez again. Let's see what's new in Blender today. Well, this week and the last few days, the last parts of the Google Summer of Code project outliner improvements has added to, to Blender 2.91 Alpha. So if you're familiar with the Summer of Code from last year, the outliner got lots, lots of improvements. Really, it was uh, it was a bit behind in terms of the other um, editors, in terms of usability, um, many other features such as like drag and drop for parenting, multiple objects, navigation, box select, the things in that you can sync the selection from the viewport to the um, with the outliner, all of that wasn't there last uh, summer before the last summer, and it was added by uh, Nathan, this developer uh, Nathan Craddock also is participating of Blender uh, Google Summer of Code this year, and the results are here. So. What is what is there? Let's see what's there to see. So the first one actually it's uh, it's toggling. Let's let's start humble and let's build up. So in this case, I'm uh, not gonna need this uh, file. Um, I'm gonna start with a simple, just a little cube. So here, for example, let's say um, you're gonna notice now that if you are in edit mode, you see this little square down here on the on the left side of the outliner what's that that is the uh, the current mode that i am in uh, let's make this slightly bigger so that is the current mode that i am in in the uh, case of having multiple objects it becomes more interesting because you can now have if you have multiple objects selected and you are in edit mode you can see that all of them are in edit mode now you can simply click on this uh, little um, icon over here and you're gonna enter or leave edit mode from each one of these objects this is great because it can also uh, allows you from the outliner to join other objects into edit mode so you can do control click and it will add them or remove them from edit mode. It's a, it's a lot more simple. This is, uh, of course, is limited to edit mode for the time being because that's one of the few modes that allows it. But in uh, other, in the future, when we have like multiple sculpt, multiple painting, and uh, it's gonna make it a lot easier. Then let's move to the other feature, left and right, wa right walk navigation. So navigation was all already added there in the past, in the last, um, in the last uh, 2.81 summer, Google Summer of Code. But now you can also do left and right. You can do right to enter the data, just like you like, like you would expect. Left goes one level up again, closes the um, the custom the. The, the object data and if you do left again you go one up in the collections so if you have multiple collections nested it's much easier to just go up and it just worked like expected just work as expected um there's a lot of these features is like yeah just what you would expect then uh, include grid pencil modifiers and effects that also is as expected because in the uh, here in the outliner you can see for example uh, you can see modifiers well now for grease pencil objects you can also see now not only the modifiers but also the effects so um, this special kind of feature that um, the grease pencil objects have now you can also um, see them in here not only see them but you can also apply other fun stuff right click target this is also a bug fix more than a <laughs> if you have multiple objects um, you're going to notice now that when you right click, you actually see the data that is related to the object types that you are using. Also, again, more like a fix other than a new feature, but this starts to get interesting when you can use more drag and dropping. This was uh, part of this functionality, drag and drop for parenting was added last year. Now you can uh, use that concept of drag and dropping for objects so let's say i have a, here a monkey and um, i have this little cube which already has some soft surf let's add some uh, for example some array and a few copies uh, let's say i want to copy this to this to the monkey i want to add the soft surf and the array well now i can just simply simply do modifiers and i can drag the modifier icon on top of the monkey and we'll copy everything, all the modifiers. Isn't that nice? Well, you can also do it with specific modifiers. If you only want the array, but not the subdivision, just drag and drop the array into the monkey and the, uh, you're gonna see the arrays uh, applied to it. That is 
amazing because it's again space up things you don't have to like remember the shortcut to link modifiers Control L by the way, but uh, this also makes everything more visual. This also works for constraints, for um, uh, modifiers, for shaders of uh, um, of uh, grease pencil objects. It's all uh, consistent. More drawing. I don't know if you remember, but in 2.7, the uh, sorry 2.7, yeah, and 2.8, uh, 2.90, this line of the hierarchy it was there it kind of shows you the hierarchy but it's not very clear there is all this room for activity here the line is overlapping and uh it just just didn't uh didn't work in all cases now the line has been moved one way uh up and it's more clear when you have multiple collections for example how deep you are you can see here how how many uh collections deep you are in the hierarchy now is when it gets interesting because let's open an actual more uh more heavy file so more collection heavy file this is a splash screen of 281 by alex trevino and uh, things get more interesting when you can have colors yes colors you can right click and specify a color for a collection you're gonna see okay background is gonna be red maybe the girl is gonna be like um green and the robots are gonna be kind of cyan bluish cool isn't it isn't it the coolest part is that this not only shows in the outliner but everywhere so when you add a collection instance you're gonna see the color also here so it's easier to spot when you add for example when you want to move an object so say i have this object i want to move it i'm gonna see here the color of the collection again very uh, very consistent the same for linking to a collection also consistent in the file browser the ideas that it also shows there that it's, it's it's just consistent and the line that i was showing before for the uh, for the hierarchy it's also with that color so in this case for example if i want to make the robots part of the girl because now it's a robot girl and the girl part of the background because I put it in the background. Now you're gonna see the nice rainbow of colors here in the uh, in the preview of the outliner. That's amazing. So the default colors that you can choose here are actually um, they they are in Blender, but they are not hard coded. You can change them in the preferences. You only need to go to themes and you're gonna find here collection colors so uh, whatever you choose here is gonna affect all the colors that you have available at the moment there are eight let us know if it's uh, if it's too low of a limit um, it can be increased in the future but um, for now I think this is more than enough for what it's uh, available at the moment this is just gonna change workflow so much. Uh, before you ask, because I know you're gonna, in the comments, uh, we're gonna see this. Uh, no, it's not available yet as a color type, but it could be the same way we have random colors here. It could be added in the future as like showing the color of the um, collections as the objects here. Problem is though, which color should it show here? For example, the robot, the cat helmet. Should it be, here should be cyan, right? but it's also green because it's part of the girl but it's also red because it's part of the background so that is that needs to be discussed maybe it should be the bottom uh, most color like the no the top the first collection that it finds should use that color maybe or background I don't know let us know in the comments below sideways up whatever you YouTube decides to put it isn't that amazing all these features thank you nathan for working so hard and to put this in the in the blender 2.91 release there are more changes that are um that that he worked on like uh, manual sorting for objects and and collections in the outliner um all of that is being worked on there is a patch already but there's things to be decided for bones and for um child object that needs some work still um, there's also another feature that it allows you to when you click on the mesh that it will change the um, here the mode it will go to the context that you have or if you click on light it will go to the light there is a few other uh, tasks that need to be tackled maybe they're not make it to 291 but for sure for 292 this is such an improvement i'm so happy this week i managed to squeeze in one video per week and most of them are on functionality that it's 
long overdue. It's not just one fancy new feature, but it's functionally overdue, like the um, like the search or like these improvements in the uh, outliner. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more. I'm gonna be adding more videos and making more videos uh, related to the Summer of Code projects next week. So I hope you had a nice uh, nice week. Have a nice weekend. See you in the next video. Bye bye.